May the showers of blessing be upon you, dear listeners of the Voice of Reformation. You are with Jean Jean Tienda Chemie. Today's topic is the happy family. We are going to see the reason why many families nowadays are not happy and what can bring the happiness in the family. Before we enter in detail, shall we pray? Our Father who art above, we say thank you for the gift of life. We say thank you for all the blessing upon our lives. Forgive our sins as we pray. We are about to learn your word. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to understand so that when we hear your word, we know your will and follow it. In the name of Jesus, I do pray. Amen. As I said, the topic of today is the happy family. It is God himself who initiated the family in the Garden of Eden. God designed the family cycle of the man, a wife, and children to exist in this world. His plan plan was to see a family being a little heaven on earth. He wanted to see a family. He wanted a family to be a place where people can learn the princip- his principles, can learn his commandment, where people can learn the true love. As it is written in the book of Psalms 128 verse 1 to 3, Blessed is everyone that fear the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of thine house. Thy children, like olive plants, lound about thy table. This was the plan of God, is to see the wife as a fruitful vine, and to see the children like the olive plants lounged about the table of the family. This is the plan of God to see the family happy. But a problem because the enemy of God, the devil, doesn't want to see the plan of God fulfilled. He brought conflict in the houses and now the family, they become the hell, a place where no one wished to be. But we thank God because the devil has been defeated. God has sent his word today so that we may know the true source of happiness in our families. The family doesn't need a car to be happy. It doesn't need a house to be happy. It doesn't need money to be happy. But what the family of nowadays needs to be happy is Jesus Christ. He is the one who can restore our happiness. He is the one who can bring the happiness in our houses. It is written in the book of Psalms 127 verse 1. It reads, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen walked but in vain. It is very true. If it is not God who built our house, uh, we won't get happiness. The foundation of our homes won't be strong because Jesus is everything. When a man of a house, a husband, we meet Jesus, he will learn to love his wife because the love will be in him. When a wife or woman will meet Jesus, she will learn to obey he, her husband the way she obey Christ. And the children who obey God, it will be easy to obey their parents. For really, the need of happiness, to have happiness in our house, our families need Jesus the true builder, so that he may build our house, so that we may get happiness. And when Jesus will come in our heart, when a husband will invite Jesus in his heart, when a wife will invite Jesus in her heart, and when the children will invite Jesus Christ in their hearts, we help them to keep the commandment and when they after keeping the commandment they will get the true happiness as it is written in the book of Isaiah 
48:18 and Psalms 119:165. Let me read that verse. Psalms 119:165. It reads, "Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Those who obey God's commandment, nothing will offend them. They will get peace." And after keeping the commandment of God, the iniquities will be far away, as it is written in Job 22 verse 23. It reads, If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. It shows us, it show us that after inviting Jesus, he will help us to keep his commandment. And after keeping the, the, his commandment, his, uh, our iniquities will be away and we get the true peace of heart. So the true need, the true source of happiness in our families is Jesus Christ. We're going to see the second important point that we can help us to build our house that can help us to bring the happiness in our families is everyone should be should know his or her role all the members of the families they have to be, to know their role the husband has to know his role the wife has to know her role and the children they have to know their role if everyone will pray better his or her role the happiness will come in the house we are going to start by the responsibility of the husband, the responsibility of the wife, and the re responsibility of the children. If time allows, we finish, but it, if it doesn't, we we'll continue in the next presentation. First of all, the husband has to know that he is the head of the family as it is written in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23 it reads for the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body this is very true the husband has to know that he is the head of the family. He has to take care of the family. He has to know if the members of the family has eaten. He has to know the person who is sick and take him or her to the hospital. He has to supply all the cares to the family. The second responsibility of the husband is to love the wife as it is written in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and give himself for it. Amen. This is very true. The husband has to love his wife as we have seen the first point the true source of happiness is jesus when jesus will come in the husband it will be easy to love the wife so another responsibility of the husband is to love the wife he has to know that the wife they are the weakened vessels he should ex exercise his authority with humility, with love. The, the third responsibility of a man, he is a lawmaker and priest in his house. Is only few husband who knows that it is their responsibility to be the priest and the lawmaker in the house. But let's see the good example of Job. He knew that he is a priest. In Job chapter 1 verse 5, let's see what he used to do daily. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings, according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned, and cast God in their heart. Thus did Job continually. Every day, every morning and evening, Job used to give offering to the Lord asking forgiveness for his children. So a husband has to know the spiritual life of the family members. He has to help them to grow. 
and he can't give what he doesn't have first he has to invite jesus in his life and he give him what to teach to the family members so all the husband they are the lawmaker and priest in their house they are the pastors in their house and the wife the wife is a deacon and the children they are believers in short those are responsibility of the husband he has to know that he is the head he has to know that he is a lawmaker and priest he has to know that he has to love his wife may god bless god help all the men or the husband to be the true source of the family to be the true head of the families we continue with the wife's responsibilities and children responsibilities may god bless you all